So, stop. Now I'm going to... Like he was really worried about everything a second ago. Look at him. Another lovely day. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's Wednesday today. This is the last visit before the weekend because we've got the ranch day the, ranch day the weekend. On Sunday the 24th. got some uh, preparation for that. I've got a great horse come in, uh, which people uh, all love to see, I'm sure. It was the the horse that was panicking out the trailer. One of the most panicaholic horses I've come across. And the ladies bring in the horse to us. Um, I think around about 12 o'clock. People can see how we've helped the horse come out with some quality and not panicking hopefully and then we're going to do a little bit of work um, with it in the in the school as well I've never been involved with any of the riding side of it and siding up so we're going to be doing that so that's going to be a good one to add to the other things we do on the ranch day there's the lost coins we like the lost coins yeah, it's <coughs> nice little... and that's the premier inn lots of people stay when they come to stay with us yeah uh, when they come to to the ranch days it's only eight minutes away yeah so right today's horse I've just read all the messages properly because there's quite a few. We haven't got any video, pre-video. We like some pre-videos to give me an idea, you know, but we haven't got anything. But I've read the messages. It's a little bit of a dodgy one this morning because, right, the, the, this lady, she's restarting her horse. It had a pedal bone injury and was off for a long time. And she's kind of restarting it. I think it's been broke to ride and she's restarting it and she's been lunging the horse but it gets more and more and more upset with the lunge and she has sat on it again but she feels like it is an explo explosion uh, waiting to happen. So she got off, so uh, you know, this kind of job is not where a lot of the time I'll go and then I'll get everything sorted. I may have to just give advice today. Obviously, I'll do some groundwork and see where, get the saddle on, I'll see where I think the horse is at. But I think, looking from the outside in at the moment, I don't want to get anyone hurt uh, with shortcutting anything. I think it may be the case if the, if the, if the, the owner's worried, which it sounds like she is, of, of sending it to be restarted, definitely. That's what it's looking like to me. So we'll see how we get on. It's only, it's not that far, is it, Tandon? Um, no, it's... This is the airfield, yeah, airfield. Our, our local little airfield. Yeah. And there's a cafe on there called the Propeller Cafe. Yes. And if anyone comes down here and they want the best breakfast in the world, or one of them anyway, we've had some one good ones them. in America, oh, yeah. Tanya. Oh. The only thing we don't get here, we don't get ash, uh, we don't get home fries, do we? No, but I do like American hash fries. Right, yeah. Uh, hash browns. Hash browns, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's it. I think we're about the 15 minutes strips. away. Yeah, what, what we follow it. A horse lorry. Yeah, a horse lorry. Ta we did have a horse lorry once. Um, it was very juicy. Well, they only do about 10, 12 miles to the gallon. Whereas our little three and a half tonner we had built. to the gallon even pulling horses it's fantastic but Ta Charlotte did mention would we do better with having a three or a four horse um, uh, transport like like that one is in front well I'm not sure how often um, do you take three horses well with Mel now and, and other people there, there, there's a case really for having one for four because there's some news coming isn't there Tanya yes uh, well, uh, I won't divulge too much, but me and Tanya are going on a little trip to collect something later. And she's uh, a little black beauty. Isn't and she you? is, yes. And how that happened, I I I'll explain on a video that we're doing. We're going to film vlog tonight, fetching the horse. Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> but yeah, it's uh, kind of weird. Are we ready for another horse? No. Have we got enough land for another no. horse? Uh, have I got time for another horse? No. So it makes no sense, does it, to have a horse? But, yeah, but you know it what makes all the sense in the world to get another horse. You know what they say about horses? What? They're like potato chips. You can you never can't have, have one. enough of them. You can, you can never have one. Yeah, but we don't know how long we're going to have the horse, but we, we, we are having this horse. And uh, our, our, we'll do a blog of why we're getting this, this horse, aren't we? Shall I show a little picture of it? Yes. All right, then. three, two, one. That's a little pub. Little pub there, been the there a few piece. times. Yeah. The corner piece. And we're going to go past. Ah! Another house we built. Uh, we built how long ago was that? About 10 years? Yeah. 10 years ago. Oh, I'll cut and this off for a second then, shall I right or not? Right. Because right. we're going to. Yeah. So okay. I'll click it on just before we come okay. to it. Um, I'll put, I'm going to pull into the house we built. Really? Yeah, just quickly. But you loved this house, didn't you, Tanya? We. we it was a little wooden shack and we we knocked the shack down and then built this house. Um, one of the first timber frame houses um, to be built around here. Look at it. It was yellow when we had it. Yeah. Look at that house. That's amazing. And we built some stables to the town. Can you yeah. see the stables? Oh, the stables are down there. there, look, there you go, see the stables. We built those. Uh, Oh, look what's in the garden. Oh, that's um, alpaca. Alpacas. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it was called the Weir Ranch, wasn't it? The Weir Ranch. And we did, the, the only thing was we couldn't hack from here. So for horse point of view, it wasn't, it wasn't um, great, was it? No. Couldn't hack it because of the main and there's road. there's the mine. We used to walk there's up the to the- school there. we built. Oh, the, sorry. The there's school. a school. And a little school. And there's yeah. the rock we used to walk up to with the adders. Look at the backdrop. Just like I used to always say, it's just like Montana or Canada at the back. Um, uh, we could hear it, couldn't we? And then we used to come in here. This place. <clears throat> we used to have ice cream in here. Look at that chair. Why is there a giant chair? No idea. Yeah, look at that. What? This is an old mill. The old car there. And they used to um, do ice cream in there. Oh, yes, lovely ice cream. Lovely ice cream. Why do all our videos uh, get Evolve to food? Evolve food. <laughs> Drink. Right then, we better get there, aren't we now? <laughs> We're going to make me late now. And I must stop cackling on the video. Why? Because a few people are, because I say that. You cackle away, girl. So cackle away. A couple of people said that camera woman was too Well, bad. you can't please everybody, Tanya. That's no. what we've learned with with yeah. whatever it is we're doing. Oh, look at that little church. Pembrokeshire's beautiful, isn't it? You know, we, yeah. we don't really appreciate what we got living down here. I know. Yeah. And there's the sea. Wow. So guys, um, the video is just about to start. Uh, this is a really, really interesting video again. Uh, you see pretty much everything that I have to do to sort of change the horse's thinking and to sort of get over some of the, the issues, which is what, why I was called. Now, uh, I've got a bit more information to tell you before, the, before this starts now. The horse I've gone to see is a Connemara breed. The Connemara breed, great breed of horse. The values have gone out the roof for these Connemaras now because I know Charlotte was interested in getting one not that long ago. And they've like, what what was five or six thousand is now 12, 13, 14 thousand pounds. They're really expensive. Uh, even if you go to Ireland, they're, they're really expensive. But they're a great breed. I broke and started a lot of Connemaras over, over the time. And I can't remember one that, that wasn't nice. I mean, very comfortable horse. I've always found the Connemara is very comfortable, very level-headed, uh, really lovely, lovely to break. I did, I did break about five or six for one particular lady who used to keep them in a barn. Uh, they sort of naturally kept. They never had any bad experiences. They were never hauled around. And I, 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 I started those and they were the, they were the, the most loveliest horses I've ever started. 
They were all so easy and, and so responsive. So yeah, I love the Connemara breed um, because of my experiences with them. Um, but this particular one, uh, the, the owner's actually got two Connemaras. The one Connemara, which is a grey, she's had a lot of bad luck. It's a lovely horse, does well, really well. She does a little bit of showing and dressage. This is a beautiful grey, uh, but she's had a lot of bad luck, a lot of expensive bills with the vets, but she's now on her way with that one. Uh, you know, she persevered. But the one I've gone to see is uh, also Connemara, but things have gone not too good with this particular. Oh, that's come on now. I don't know. Uh, this, th things have gone too well. No one's fault, really. Uh, basically, it, um, the horse has always been a little bit in your, well, I'll say a little bit, a lot in your face since the youngster. Very much in your face. Very much um, disrespectful sort of uh, attitude. Um, and tends to be explosive. Now it's only five years of age. It was started about a year or so ago, uh, very briefly started. Then it had a pedal bone injury and it had to have a year off. And the horse uh, has, has had a year off and has become, for whatever reason, become really, really nervous um, to the point where it'll go, the horse will go from very quiet, suddenly really, really takes off and becomes pretty much dangerous. Now, the owner's had a brand new school built. Uh, it, it, it is on the side of a road, which, you know, my round school's on the side of a road. <clears throat> In some ways, there's a benefit. Sometimes, you know, depending on the traffic, can be a little bit concerning. Uh, I, I love the fact that mine's on the side of the road and they become really good with the traffic and things like that. Uh, but, um, you know, this particular horse gets a little bit worried about uh, passing traffic in there maybe that's what's caused it to have this kind of fright because it's petrified and kind of uncontrollable uh very much of the time when he's took into the new school now he, he's been ridden once <clears throat> since he was backed by the owner that didn't go very well she didn't get hurt but it was <clears throat> quite a nervous kind of ride and um with him so that's why i got the call uh, uh, so you'll see that now, pretty much everything, what I do and how I get on um, with the horse. Okay, so you, you kind of know what the situation is now. I might have to, sometimes the firmer we are, with a, a kindness to it, uh, no aggression, the more settled the horses get. Yeah. Right at the start, they might not be, because they're not really not sure, but that's what it might take uh, to settle him more in your school. Uh, I don't know which one's gonna fit the best here. Yeah? So, okay, so first thing I would do is, you know, I want to be able to go in and I need him to, yeah. to back off, right? Uh, and it, you almost don't want to do it, but you've got, you know, no, no, for no, me it really helps. Yeah. My horse has moved back for me to yeah. go in, you know, so, so that's all I've done is just say, look, you know, I, I don't need you here on some yeah. coming in, all right? So I'm looking at his feet, nothing else. That's all I'm going to be interested in, is controlling what his feet do. Okay, everything will be about his feet. Okay. Um, and whoever can control a horse's feet becomes the one that, to trust. Because that's what it's all about with them, uh, you know, in the herds. It's whoever controls whose feet yeah. is top dog. Okay? So they look, how does this open? Oh, go sleep back there. Right, so <laughs> Okay, so you didn't hold that against me, did you? Did you? Did you? Right, you want to help me put this on a little bit? Hmm? Right, let's see how this fits. Right, so these go like this. Right, so they go underneath the chin there. Look, see how I've gone through that loop? Yeah. Um, goes just through the loop, that's easy enough, yeah? Then round and back through. You see? Yeah. Uh, you don't want it to come in here. Uh, some people put it like that, but it can tighten too much then. Right. So go through the loop here, okay? And then once they're on, just snug it up, and that's there. So, okay, so what size is this little? Uh, about 15 hands? Yeah. Yeah, 15 hands. So I'm just gonna, before we go, just disengage a few times. Okay, let's do this one. So disengage this way, 
Can you stop? You've been all quiet. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You've been all quiet. Right. This is Mum, who have you brought so, here? So, I'm just adjusting some presents. So, we're going to start. Right then, great clip there. Um, and what will follow in a second now, that um, the horse, as soon as I asked the horse to back off me, it loaded its front heavy and didn't want to move move back at all. Kind of another, in, I've been into quite a few interpressure horses lately and they're not that, can't, well there, there is a few around, but the, this horse jumps, jumps into your space when it gets worried and can be really nerve wracking. I mean, and, and can potentially get someone really hurt. I've, I've said it a million times about that sort of horse that doesn't respect the personal space. So notice straight away, I'm asking the horse there to back away from me. And the more I'm asking, the more he's uh, lo loading the front end and pretty much pushing forward rather than back. So this is interesting for you to, to see. Um, here we go. Ah, so I'm just gonna keep going here now till we get a change in these feet. That's it. So the longer it takes, the better. The longer it takes to actually get a change in the feet, the more they have to work it out and the more the lighter they get. There we go. You wouldn't think you were uh, you were nervous type, looking at you. I know. If I was Would you? Like that. You wouldn't think that. <clears throat> but in the same breath, Horses like that, we need to be able to bring their life up. Mm. So a lot of the help in a horse like this will be actually bringing their life up, then bring it down. Bringing that, because it's coming up inappropriately, isn't it? Yeah. Not as your energy's coming up, it's yeah. coming up on its own. But it, we get to a stage where we put the life in. If we can put the life in there, they don't look for doing it themselves then. If that makes any sense to you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, we'll just lower, lower, we might have to, have you done any of the lowering of the head? I tried. My yeah. friends across the road um, have done quite a, a bit with you, I think. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Bethan and Dallas. Uh, Bethan. Um, she's going to bring you a hat or something. Oh, Bethan. Yeah. Sam. Sam. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bethan? Uh, Bethan's the one who's ma who makes your caps. <laughs> and she's coming to yeah. the clinic next week. Oh, is she? Yes. Right. So, very simple. And you, you can eventually use the cue to lower the heads when you're riding them. When they get a little bit up, because you know all horses like yeah. when they're up and they're upset, their heads their, their heads end down. They're, yeah, they're up, that's like what this. he tends to have a very naturally high head carriage. So yeah, yeah, when you're riding him, you feel like your his ears are about to go. Yes, yeah. well that tends to hollow him out and everything. So yeah. I would be working on this. So what I'm going to do? Put a little bit of pressure down on here. Look, and then squeeze here. The squeeze here is what you start to use in the saddle further down the line because they learn that a squeeze there is to drop the head. And then you can transfer that to lifting the pit with straight straight arms yeah, to drop the head and yeah. things like that. But, uh, right, so I'll just get this going. So I'm a little squeak, now, uh, you've surely not done this. <laughs> a little, I've done a little bit, but not not very much. Like Because that was abnormally quick. <clears throat> right. So I'm just gonna, there. And then did you see it? I released that and the, and yeah, the squeeze, but in exactly. actual fact, I've not used the squeeze technique. I just okay. used a little bit of pressure, yeah. sort of like. But but we don't waste this because yeah. this is what we can use for the saddle eventually. But don't forget, if you start off with the squeeze here, then you just reach that easily. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. now that's too good. <laughs> hey, proper kind of Mario you are, aren't you? Hey. Yeah. So. I'm basically just showing him I'm a good guy here. Not just going to fill my body, because we are going to fill out there. Um, but that's nice, you've got a nice feel about you, haven't you? Hey? Nice feel about you. Now this disengaging is really going to help if you do lots of this, because it really gets some bending in their rib cage and everything. I do loads of that. Yeah. <coughs> it softens them up. So, okay. So this is very good. I'd buy him. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, so, much flexing. <laughs> much flexing. 
you done much of that? Brilliant little slow motion clip just to come, guys. Straight after this, showing exactly where I release. I get my horses so light, and, and so many people say, how did you get them light like that? It's by never releasing until you get a give or the pressure releases like so lightly. And basically where you release, at whatever pressure level is, is where, where a, a horse will hunt for. Well, I like them really light, so I, I tend to release a lot when the pressure come, when the, um, the give is, is really light, so there's no pressure. So you'll see this now very quickly. I'm holding, and then you'll see me let go of the, of the, of, of the lead rope exactly at the right time um, for you to see. You know, and if I had to hold and wait for, for ages, I would until I get that little try. So have a look at this little relief. Not really. Okay, so good thing. I'm, I'm showing something that's going to help you as a young horse. Yeah. <clears throat> everything I'm doing is heading towards the riding, okay? Yeah. And I can't ride it, it'll be everything for driving or something like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like just yeah. when I can't ride. But at the moment, so what I'm doing, I'm putting my a little bit of pressure here. Yeah? Yeah. A little bit of pressure and thinking about a flex. Yeah. And I'm taking that off at the same time as this. So it's two releases. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And eventually you can just do that with your foot. As you reach down to get a flex, you can put your inside leg, just a bit of movement and now Remember, all heads towards the right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so look, I've got that in there. I'm thinking to come. I'm waiting for just a little give. There. Do you see the little give? You yeah. were watching me, you didn't see that. Right. Did you see exactly what I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When it, yeah. yeah. So the longer he takes to give me that, the better, because it'll mean more. So look, I'm pushing in here. All right, I'm thinking about a give. No, there's no give there. There's no give there yet. You'll see when it gives. So I've got just got a little tiny bit of pressure. Did you see that little try? Yeah. That's where he was searching. How am I gonna get rid of this pressure? Here and pressure here. And it's by giving. Has to be a give. The same with your bit. Yeah. All right, that was unrequested. That's better back up. And that foot. And when he sticks like this, I wait until See, that's an opportunity for him to find it. So nothing can go wrong. Everything that happens, you just wait for them to find the answer. Okay? Is that making sense? Yeah. Yeah. So look, here. Now look, 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 that's three times I've done it. That's a lovely flex there. Good boy. He, whatever, wherever I get to him today, you doing these little things I'm showing you now will make him start to think, hang on. You're not you anymore. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, you got a bit of me, hope to God, that you're all right with that. <laughs> so yeah, the, practicing these things will switch him on to, look, he's asking what's next, okay? So, so you see how in no time at all, he's now starting yeah. to flex, but I'm taking that off and that at the same time. So you do that both sides, really good. So, you, so you're virtually there, and he, as soon as you go to think it, he's there with a lovely flex. When that's really good, you then transfer that to your bit. Because that is just a rain. So then you get it really nice with the bit. Because the better you get the flex this way and this way, the more you're gonna get that lovely, um, that nice flex in the pole, all right? Okay, so, okay, let's do it and let's, uh, let's go. Uh, I won't need my stick, huh? Oh, you can bring it, just in case. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here you go, Ryan. Uh, he's on top of me. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to lead him here for now. Eventually you can, but he needs to know about our space. Yeah. So I stop then, he's right on top of me. Yeah. Okay, does he do that with you? I'm going to bump the, bump the rope so he's on me, especially up there. Yeah. You'll see me bumping his head. Rather than looking everywhere else, he's got a, he'll only get a release when he, he's with me. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Like there, look. With me. Okay? So. So the school. Follow the, oh, I see. Follow the yellow brick <laughs> Um, should I put the mic on? Oh, yeah. Right. 
So we're on the way up now to the brand new sand school where most of the problems, oh, I'll say not most of the problems, but a big problem is uh, up in the school <clears throat> to the stage where the owner, his owner thought he might jump out of there if you left him in there to sort of get used to it. So I'm on the way up there now. Now it's not worth me keep going up to the sand school with, unless I've got some sort of control uh, on the way up there. So I took advantage and did a little bit of groundwork on the way up there. Uh, this is, next clip is, is where I stop and he kind of walked forward and, and I asked him to back up and he waited his front end and was gonna come through me a little bit. So you'll see me really firm up a little bit here. I mean, I can't hurt him, he's too big to hurt. But I, I do firm up a little bit now to get to get a change in his feet. And um, I wanted to get a little bit of a, a respect for myself from him before we actually got in the school. So it was an opportunity really for me and you'll see that now. Oh, oh. Very pushy into space. Yeah. He's not gonna listen to anybody if he's allowed to do that. Yeah. So that's good that I'm noticing that. Yeah. Really, really pushy. He doesn't want to back off me. So if we allow that, he can't feel comfortable with us if he's worried about something like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to explain it so you really, it's probably different to what you've seen. No, I people. know that he's too in my space. Yeah, yeah. Are you okay with me bumping on him? Because I've got to, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll have the... And you'll notice something weird with him. You see how quiet it's gone? Are you noticing that? Because I'm lowering his head. You've got to watch if he does lower underneath you like that. He doesn't bring it up and hit you in the head. Right, you see how licked and chewed? Do you notice any change just happened with him? Like he was really worried about everything a second ago. Look at him. Lowered his head four times. Look. So that's feeling good to him now. He's thinking, see he's come up. He's wide-eyed, so I'm saying, no, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You think you could do that one? Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, so I've got a tiny little bit of respect of space from him. Right? Right, see the difference there? He just stopped immediately. Look at me. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, you need to shut that, don't you? I don't think you jump out of here. That was unrequested towards me. Now, I'll leave him alone when he just faces me. Yeah. Right. That's nice. Nice little stop then. Now when I'm stopping there, um, so now I'm gonna say, you're all right, you don't have to run. So I'm in the school with him now, and he's spooking a little bit and starting to get to get in my face a little bit. Now, unfortunately, I think Tanya didn't press record on some of the a little bit, but you'll it'll pick up now when I've got my flag because he was pushing into me, um, and it wasn't getting too much better. So I I, I then uh, I've got the um, telescopic flags which. He kind of needed um, a little bit more from me to get to, into his idea that he doesn't come to me when he gets worried and potentially, you know, knock through me really. So, you'll, but you'll see all of this now. It's a pity we didn't see the other.
So this is a great little clip that you've just seen there, and I'm gonna replay that tiny bit. It, that's the, the, the bit where he finally got it, that, you know, I had to firm up a bit with the flag, and I unstuck his feet because he was trying to come, any pressure, he, he would come. And I really, just that moment there, his feet got back, his feet freed off, and he, and he just sort of got it, that he, he it, coming through me is, is a no-no. Um, so you, I'll replay that a little bit now. It's exactly the point where I released because the feet freed off. What he's doing for comfort, he's coming on to you. Uh, and that's really dangerous. So I've got to break that cycle. He's convinced. See how this is starting to, starting to listen to me a little bit. It'll go up and down. Now who's his attention on? You wouldn't have got this bit done. This is where 20 years of experience or 25 years because I'm not look, making it about him. I'm making it about his unlocking them and not coming in. It's called an interpressure horse. So he's coming in for a bit close there. Thank you. It's getting better all the time. Better all the time. Just give him two seconds. Look at that. Whoa. The hardest bit we've done. But now I've got to do an hour of groundwork now. So just give him a second. Look, who's his attention on? Yeah, I know, I know. But look, yeah, look where he is now. Look where he is now. No, no, we know, yeah. But I'm trying to explain the best I can so you know there's hope for this boy. Look at him. Look at that. Now, the learning is right now. That wasn't the learning just. Now he's soaking, he's gone quiet, he's listened to me, he's given me space, he stopped when I stopped. He knows now to, that I'm saying, don't worry about over there, you're with me, you'll be okay. Look at him. Now what I'm gonna do quiet, quietly is, that was an unrequested forward motion. Look, look at that foot there. See how this is, but I had to go through a breakdown to get the breakthrough. That's where you're having trouble. That's where you're having trouble. Now look at me, don't worry about the traffic. Tell him how good he is. Good boy, I want to be gentle. He'll love me for being firm with him and showing him that I can control him. Don't worry about anything, I can control your feet. So I've proven to him, I am alpha. You know? Uh, now I'll see whether I can lower his head here. It's gone so quiet, it's unbelievable. Look at this. Uh, look at his look at the look in his eyes, Tanya. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's amazing. Right, let's tighten this up a bit. Good lad. Good boy. Alright, let's see if we can get. Now I'm tutting for back, not clucking. Do you cluck for both? Tutting, yeah, that's what I'm doing, that's good. Um, and release for each foot. Now it's getting lighter. 
release, release, good, right, so now I'm going to ask for these disengages, and when he does a nice one like there, I'm coming out of it, and my shoulders go back for a stop, okay, this is a, I'll break this exercise down for you, there, look, he's up, there, now he's with me, when I look at him, I'm not looking at, I'm not eyeballing him in his eyes. I'm looking at sort of his nose area. Um, there, beautiful. Oh, lovely, lovely feel. So to take his hind quarters, I'm going to come around in. Cluck, come out of it, shoulders back for a stop. If he encroaches a little bit, then I stay where I am, and then I tut, and I, and then I just. That one I'm going to look at, I'm looking at the foot and I'm releasing myself from him when he goes back. Okay, so I'll do that again. I'm going to come around. Little cluck. Walk out of it. Shoulders back. That's quite nice, actually. Licked and chewed. Quiet. You lied to me. He's quiet. <laughs> um... Now this side's not usually as good. See? See? A little bit more bothered. So I'm going to wait for a nice one. There. Out of it. Shoulders back. Stop. Wait a second. Not so good that side, but you know why that is? Yeah. It's usually the case. It's a little bit bothered. Um, so, uh, ask him again. I want a, ni a real nice one. That's not even a nice one. I'm hoping you can recognize it. There. It's where he kind of stops his front feet. Stops his front feet. And really disengages. Uh, horses that are nervous like this. A lot of the horses I won't be so particular about slowing the front feet to an almost stop. But with a nervous one, it's good to because they realize they're giving their motor up completely. Their power of flight as they cross if you cross your legs there, you ain't got much of you. You can't go, right? So it means a difference to them in their mind. So when you do this exercise, really go for a, a, a real, watch the front feet. There, did you see the front feet just for a second? Almost stop. Did you miss it? Okay. And this side. Um, There, did you see it? That's the point where I, I, I would be quite particular in here with that exercise to really get him to really break loose at the back so he knows. Wow. I'd take him. <laughs> I'd take him. Uh, right, okay. Now, what we have to be careful is that we don't when an horse offers you he's offered this a lot quicker than I thought he would all of this niceness at the moment and this calmness you can go backwards for doing more so these little breaks are exactly what he needs to know he can he can experience quiet in the school he's experiencing quiet with me so that's good so if you get those little periods there he kind of looked over, but I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Um, ask for his foot to drop back again. See, this really needs to be better. Um, have you ever worked on this? Uh, yeah. The, he really needs to... Because this will end up being your bit. He's planting his front. Yeah. Um, he's planting... It's something I would work on. You could start in the stable. I knew he was really hard. What's happening is, you're asking for a backup and he's loading his front. front. So you'll end up doing this. You want this, right? So I would be working on that. Um, the slightest, you know, that, that, see how he's coming on his front end? Now, I'm going to firm up with him with this in a second now uh, because that that's not responsive. We've got to be able to bring the life up like I told you. So I want the slightest, um, the slightest pressure. 
I'll put a start on it for you. Uh, so there, look. Right, and then I'm gonna what? Well, then I'm gonna give him a break a minute. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of pressure here and touch, yeah. Then the flag comes in. Then I'm gonna leave it. Tell him how good he is. And this gets him desensitized to a flag as well. Look, first. Now, did you just see the third time I asked him, he backed up straight away. So I don't want to have to use this, but I've got to have something that's going to make him think, get back. So the, pre, the prerequisite is this. Right, he's dragging. Right, now he's not. So you see now this is working. Ask again. Now look at that. If I can set the seed for you, you can work on these things. Because a young horse, so impressionable. You can go from having a heavy, you know, horse that's, to having something. You want to do your showing, I would get this good in hand. So you can back him up beautiful and light. And they. Now look, that was hardly nothing. So I've put the, the first bit in there, which you'll see on the video. For you to work on, you know, I'd, I'd hope that in a few months' time you might message me and say, Look at this with a little video, and you're just doing this, looking at the feet, and you've got all that lovely. Um, because when you're using your bit, you'll use the same and you'll think about those feet licked and chewed there. That's good. So, does that make sense? I don't want to ru ruin what I'm getting, so I've put that little seed in there. You ask first, very lightly. And then you do something with a flag or something, tap his chest, not to hurt him, no pain, but but get him lively. So that eventually they never want the secondary. They want the first one. Okay? So that foot there. Nice, quite nice and light there. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is an exercise which really helps these nervous horses. Really helps them install it installs into there really helps a lot of horses that get to get no there i've going back with me yeah so, so you've got to concentrate on that one when he's unless he's absolutely in fear of his life you've got to allow that's different but when he's just like getting a bit because what will happen is his toes were going where his nose was going so earlier down there he was looking at stuff and he was kind of moving with it so as long as it's on you and you're not allowing unrequested forward motion into you, then he has to stay. It's better for him to stay. So, okay, that's good. So this exercise now, leading to driving. So I'm going to lead him around. Then I'm going to come in behind him and drive him. And then I'm going to go to leading in the same exercise and then to driving. So he gets being pushed from me, like in the herds, the stallion and the lead mare will push them from behind. Not only that, they will lead them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So they've got to follow and they've got to be driven. And it, we start to become such an alpha to them. If we do enough of it, they'll do anything for us. And they'll feel so more confident when we're not nervous. They look to us for how we feel. But what I would say, if you get that good, and he starts to really trust you wherever you're taking him. When you get nervous, what's he going to do? He's going to get doubly nervous. So you've got to be a little bit aware of that if you get them really cutting onto you. So we're going to lead now. He's too quiet to do anything with now. Huh? What's going on here? So uh, what I just did there, when, when I move forward, I always, because I don't like to drag horses, so when I lead them out, there's a purpose and a quality to everything I'm doing. So whenever I go forward with a horse, I always make a point of of leaning forward first with my shoulders. And my horses, as soon as I do that, they start to come. So rather than get them heavy, you know, because he's a little bit heavy, uh, it's the same as when I stop, I stop like this. So they really get to know. So so here, if I was here, then I would... Um, he don't want to move now. Right. Right, okay, so, where is he most nervous? Well, I told him to be nervous. Okay, right, okay, so, here's the leading, okay? There's the lead. You might have to move back a bit, if, but, right, 
This is the leading. Leading lovely on a long rein. Now, I want him to, 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 to drive now. Right, there, there's the drive. She's going to get really good in a bit. Right, here's the leading. That's the drive-in. That's the lead-in. Now we're going to go to lead-in. If you can get this good, again, you could do half an hour of this, have a break and do another half on the other side. You can't overdo it if it's done right. Uh, so there's the driving, and I'm going to take no notice of that. This will slowly build into a lovely session of following to driving. So we're going to turn this into leading. You might have to use this fence. You see what I've just done? To stop him going round, I use the fence. So here's the leading to drive in. Leading to driving. Leading. Driving. Leading. Stop. Now I'm going to check him a couple of times now so he doesn't think he's got a so he works out when I'm asking him to follow and when to be pushed let's follow I'm taking all this space here so think now when I ask him to 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 be pushed I'm thinking about taking the space behind him. So I'm looking here. I'm looking here. I want that space there. Come on. There. Now I want that space there. I want that space. Do you see this building? This will change him. Go on, what was you going to say? Yeah, this this will change his complete psyche. Drive, drive. Now lead. Drive. Fifty percent better so far. Boring as hell, but it's such a good thing for them. Amazing thing. Right, drive. Lead. Follow, lead. Drive. How good is this getting? Thank <laughs> you. 
You tell me when I'm leading and tell me when I'm driving, alright? Good. Now watch this stop. Watch the stop. Watch the head. Licked and chewed. He said, you got me covered, haven't you? Amazing. Sorry? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We're not going to have the same on the other side, I don't think. I may need my flag. I don't want to get too close. Because... But, but which side are you on? You're on there. That's why it's really important to get this side good. Because when you're up there on a young horse, when you turn them to the right, which eye are they seeing you above them in? the right eye so I've been to so many horses over the years where they have problems with that eye and when they really think of which way the horse bucked them off or got scared or bolted it's that one especially with young horses because they see you above and whenever we get on a horse we'll bend them usually to the left where they're comfortable bend them this way they tend to move the feet more so there look look I'm setting all this in there for you to build from you know, you might say to me in a couple of months, we're doing really well, really well. Look at this video, look at this update. But could do with you back. Just, I'm having trouble with these two things. Or, do you know what I mean? So, I'm not a million miles away. i I got to watch how far I do go with him. I don't want to lose. For going forward, lose. Um, there, look. Now, I didn't even have to. Licked and chewed, fine, lovely. I'm going to do the other eye. Then we're going to have a break. We're going to give him a break in his stable. And we can discuss next step. Whether you want to saddle up or what. You know, we'll... we'll um, there, look. Straight away. I've got that in. Look at him. Quietest Connemara on his own in a new school I've ever seen. Look at him. Yeah, no, no. Best thing you ever did was get me here today. <laughs> Our round school is next to a road like this. Oh, my God, the difference it's made. You have to be a little bit careful sometimes going on the long side. I noticed you put some poles there. That's a good idea. I, I have to be careful with mine where, where the round edge goes to the, the road. Sometimes the air breaks and things, but they get so used to... Like, I'll sit for an hour with them when it's busy right by that edge uh, you know uh, uh, but yeah really helps because a lot of people don't s being out here sometimes you're down the lane you don't see much traffic do you so think of it as a positive hmm? yeah yeah right are we ready then for this side this is going to be you know i don't know what we're going to have here um so we do the the lead in Leading nice. Now, as soon as his feet went forward, I, I call it, I was out of there. So he was concerned. But then as soon as he went forward with his feet, I was gone. Okay, so you'll see this build now. Okay, so. Now go this way. Yes. Now I'll work on this. Ah, he did. I'm looking at this space here, driving him. Yes. Yes. Leading. He, very soon, these methods, they realise we get useful. We get to the point, but there's no threat to them. It's only what they do with the feet. That's the beauty of this. Lovely, lovely. Now 
Now I'm gone. So now I'm gonna he's causing his own that's better backing up. He's causing his own backing up now. So I'll do that every time. I want to get this seed in for you because you'll have trouble with this side. Okay. Ah did you not notice that? He thought about trotting past me, but he didn't. He thought better of it because that's twice caused him to be checked and backed. So that, by trotting past me, he's caused himself a little bit of grief there, but I can't have it, you see, because you'll suffer with it. There. There. You see? I don't, I don't mind if he does go past, I don't mind, because I'll check him, back him up, so I'm doing something of use with it. But he, I can see what you mean about careering round. So, so there's leading. Driving. Leading. Driving. Getting good? This better fit him so much. So leading. Driving. Leading. Now when I ask him to drive, I'm looking around here, look. I'll point, I'm looking around there. Looking around, I'm looking there. Thank you. Leading. And for now, you're gonna have to have a longer lead rope because if you allow him to be right here, he'll start getting a little bit where he says, oh, I'm in your space now, you've let me in. Now, drive. Drive, now I'm gone. Drive. Drive. And this is also getting him used to flags and just everything like. No flag needed then. Stop, back up, whoa. Where's your step up? What we'll do, we'll just um, have some quiet time. Come around here, Babs. Now, Usually, if a horse was nervous somewhere, you wouldn't stand in front of him like me. So this is something I'm doing. I don't want other people doing it. But I want him to just experience some um, quiet. And you see that you've got to try and focus on his eyes, Tanya. The difference it makes when the eyes just kind of like, you know, go, oh. So it feels good to him, that does. He's not taking it away from me, look. He said, that feels good. That feels better down there with you. Um, there. So you can practice that one. Try and keep to the side a little bit in case he did go forward. Um, so I've come into his space now, there's a difference. I We can come into their space. They can't walk into ours without us asking. And I find that's such a biggie. Okay. Should we take him back now to give him, where's your siding up block? Siding up, where, 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 how'd you get on? Right, okay, is it good for that? Um, well, when you got up two times, then you had to do that pose in the park. Right, shall we go back now, yeah. chill out for a minute and have a chat, yeah? yeah. About, um, things have gone very well, I feel, in here just. Anything else you can think of while I'm here, before we go back now? Uh, 
he's lunging. I wouldn't do any long lunging in here. Do it on the end of a lead rope. You'll you'll see this on a video. So you know. Yeah. How do you feel about putting a saddle on? I mean, it's, should we give him a tan? Yeah. Should we go and give him a five minutes? Yeah. Guys, Sally doesn't want to be in the video like Tanya doesn't. You've got to say hello, Sally. Come on. <laughs> Sally! <laughs> um, if, if, if... We'll, sit, well let's, let's go and have a chat. So out here now with the saddle, Sally, I want the same thing, right? So I'm in front, following, yeah? Now if I put my shoulders back, beautiful. Don't even have to do a thing because he stopped straight away and he's with me. Tell him how good he is, let's go. So on the way up to the school is where... Uh, on the way up is where a lot of people go wrong. If if he was nervous in there, the tension builds. Yeah. You with what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I would get him comfortable on the way up, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. And then come out of it. Um, same thing. See the point there? Stop. Now then, there's an amazing little clip as soon as I finish talking now. Now all of the work I've been doing is um, getting the horse to not come into my space and come on me when it spooks for, for, for comfort. And you'll see now that the horse spooks now, it's a passing, I don't know what it is, something passes that's really noisy and he, he spooks quite badly, spooks. But he doesn't spook to me, he spooks away. And you can see him giving me my the space. So that's what all, you know, it's all starting to come together. Yes, he spooks. Didn't run off because he's done it before where he spooks. And he'll just pull, pull the owner. He'll go straight as an arrow and just pull her, pull her and she has to let go. So uh, he, he you know, he spooks, but listens to the, to, the, to, the, to the holster and rope. And doesn't, he gives me my space, even in a spook. Uh, so we're getting there, definitely, with that one. Back up. Almost ignore his spook. I would definitely get him tacked up and have a halter on and do a lot of what I'm doing with all his tack. So mentally, with all his bitting and everything, he, he can go a bit quieter. Um, did you notice him just drop mentally for a second there? Did you notice that spot? Yeah. Um, stop. Boy. See how easy they... See. Now then. Push bike. You see how I got his attention a little bit there? That could have escalated. Yeah. Get his attention. And if he comes into your space, you back him off. Yeah. Softening in his rib cage now. He's saying, "Oh, I've come down now. He's coming down. He's, he's coming down. He's coming down. This is what I've seen. A lot of people they try to get on the horse when they're up. 
you know, and uh, uh, this is good for you to see because before you ever ride in here, and I would, without a doubt, have someone up here with you the first few rides, just, you know, and just get him quiet before you get on. That's what you want before you get on, all right? But we're leaving now for five minutes just to completely chill. And then are you happy? Do you want to? So you, you're going to stay around this area and just walk around and just give them a rub and do your thing, yeah? yeah. Okay, are you definitely happy then with yeah, yeah. where I'm at? It's really important to get to that stage before you ride. Yeah. So you're setting him up to succeed. So don't come in here and he's thinking about getting on when he's a little bit... Yeah. yeah. Oh. He's too up. Don't... Look, I don't get on if they're too up. Yes, when I was younger, do anything, don't you? Now, they've got to be so ready for me to get on to ride now. Because we, we don't bounce easy as we used to. Um, okay. You're going to be a cracker, aren't you? Hmm? You're going to be a cracker tobacco. Did you do the other one? So, okay, we're at a point now where... The owner would like to sit on the horse, right? Now, um, in chatting, we, we all realised that uh, the horse wasn't ready, really, and and uh, comfortable enough for the owner to get on last time. That's why the ride wasn't particularly good. I felt quite confident that with me being there, that we could get, get the horse ridden again, okay? <clears throat> I just felt that it, it, we could and fair play to to the owner she she put her big pants on and said i really need to, to have a little sit on just to give her the confidence and i thought yeah okay we'll go for it then so that's what we're doing but i it's very important that that things were very calm uh to, to get this done and a lot of the time I wouldn't go that far so quickly, but the owner, she is a very good rider, and although she'd lost her confidence on him a little bit, uh, I felt like I'm there, I think we'll get this done now, because he became so quiet and trusting of me, and I felt like even if he spoke a little bit with her on, he would st kind of stay with me. So we're about to do that now. I can't show, I can't show any of the riding, unfortunately, uh, uh, on here, and because, um, it would have made the owner so much more nervous knowing that. So I promised her, you know, I wouldn't uh, uh, put, put her on here riding. So you won't see that now, but I'll tell you, it went absolutely fantastic. Big smiles all round. Um, stood still to get on, to get off, to get on, to get off. Uh, we lower, lowered the horse's head while she was sat up there. Everything was good. And then we did some walking around. What I do, I'd move away from the horse, probably about 20 yards. And then um, the owner would bring the horse to me. So she had focus of where to go. And then the horse would come to me. Then we'd fuss the horse a little bit. And then I'd move somewhere else. Then the owner would focus to come to me again. And we did it a bunch of times and circled me as well. Uh, really, really good. Uh, ended up on a on a really great note, uh, just to let you know. So yeah, I won't show that, but it was fantastic and fair play to to the owner for for doing that, you know, and for and it, she was so happy about it after. That's fantastic. Right. Okay. Let's go. So we put the horse away, and uh, I'm going back. Uh, to tell you to say next week booked in for next week and what I've said is to give her even more confidence 
I'm going to uh, give her an hour of one rain stop because basically it's two rain stops and if it gets out of control when I'm not there, she doesn't really have a good way of shutting the horse down. So I've, I've got, um, well, I've actually got a one rain stop clinic coming up, but it's full, so she couldn't come on it. But uh, uh, next week I said uh, we've managed to get her in. I'll go and do another session with her, uh, get back to where we were, and then I'll hop her on there and we'll do an hour of one rain stops, starting on the ground, building up so that that um, the owner can can just reach down, stop the horse on the left or the right hand side. So it gives um, her more confidence and the horse confidence to be able to get to that tranquility with the one rain stop, which was all linked into the to the feet uh, uh, stopping and staying still. So uh, that's that. So um, yeah, and our, what what we'll do? We'll do another update on this obviously um you know as things progress because it's a real interesting case so yeah that's good so we're now off to you wanted to pop into castle morris horseware didn't you horseware yes. well, you've just... got to pick up some feed and i'll have yeah. a mooch at the area all right then we'll have a look now <laughs> Go there. it's on the way back isn't it yeah. yep. okay. here we go this isn't that far from our house it's pretty much everything Charlotte buys a lot of her matchy matching here. Does she? Mm. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sure she does. I'm sure she. Here we go. That's an old house, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A few hundred years old. Right then, a question and pet supplies. Okay. What is it? Oh, Jet from James. James, yeah. I can chuck two in there. Yeah, you're right. Okay, how are you? Right. Hey, how are you? Right. I guess that's coming. Cool. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, I've a couple of those then. Yeah, uh, yeah fine. Um, actually, can you make it three? Yeah. yeah. Three of those. What are they about 10 for a load? Um, they are 7.99. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I like that. Sweatshirt. Oh, sorry. Tanya's in Harriet Heaven. Come on, Harriet, sponsor us. <laughs> I do not need any more. I like it, I do. I'd like one of those for me. Really? What do you think of that then? Really nice. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I like it. Nice for the summer, like, because you're not... Oh, and then you can wear a T-shirt and then if you just need a bit of warmth on your body. Yeah. How much are they? I have no idea. We haven't looked. I don't look at me. Just... Hang on, I don't know. I have no idea. 79. Have it then? Yeah. Should I have that then, Tan? Yeah. It's usually you that has all <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, no, that's not clothing. fair. That's not fair. I like that, then. <laughs> That's pretty much the end of the video now. Like like on cue, Tanya's just came in, sat down in front of me, said, oh, I've got to say a few things. So we'll ask Tanya what she wants in a minute. But uh, that was a tough ask, that, that horse was. Um, and I'm quite pleased with where I got to. I did have to firm up quite a bit w w with the horse, which I didn't cut anything out. You saw what I did. Never hurt the horse once. But uh, I had to, I had to get, get to the point, as they say. And I made some big changes, and, and, and like I said, we, your post on that goes. Very important that I did go to that horse, really. So, uh, Tanya's just come in. I think there's a couple of things you wanted to, to say. Yeah, I know we um, showed it on the supporters page, uh, but I just wanted to... I'm sure we have not mentioned it on this page. Okay, well, look, guys. This is, this is uh, Reno. Uh, you know the... Uh, Re Re Reno was the, the horse at Many Tears Rescue yeah. that we went to, to help. And I know the story with with R reno has been up and down well i think the horse is recovering now as yeah. far as i'm aware Good. didn't have to be put to sleep thank god um but uh well, if anything happens we'll, we'll obviously keep you posted but this particular picture was hand painted by leah by leah um the daughter yeah. of um sylvia. The, sylvia the owner of many tears rescue and she sent us that it's an amazing picture of nita uh, all hand painted so i wanted to show that and thank you so much, um, 
Oh, Leah, for that. And also, what else, Tanya? Right. We, we, I love to show people because yeah. we, we do appreciate when they do yeah. things like this. Uh, a lovely lady called, um, here we go, Butcher. Uh, Jennifer Butcher. Jennifer Butcher. From the US. Yeah, show me that. these lovely books of John Wayne. Oh, right. And from the is, US. She sent these from the from US. From the US. Here we go. Oh, and there's an look, official. Because I, I love the Duke. Yeah. My dad did. I, love John, I am a John Wayne fan. Official John Wayne medallion. There, well, she sent that as well. Yeah, all of that. Wow, thank you and so much. And she says you've got a lovely bottle of uh, whiskey. Oh, this has got a, a yeah, pop of gold. Yeah, there's a medallion, so. yes. Wow. How lovely. Look at that. Well, thanks for that. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, thank you so much. And I'm going to put uh, this away. Uh, so, so, yeah, thanks for those. So, basically, next videos to come, we've got um, what is uh, written here. We've got... Uh, uh, Branch day. Uh, uh, no, but the videos. Oh, right, we've yeah. got, we've we've got a new horse. Okay, uh, we've got a new horse. It wasn't planned. There's reasons why we've got this new horse, and uh, we're gonna put a blog. Where we've done some filming of fetching the horse at the first ride with Charlotte. A really really interesting, and we're gonna help the horse, and then maybe place the horse um, later on in the summer. So we're gonna do a blog on that, a, a, a video to put on the site. And then on the supporter side, no, that's for the main site. And then, yeah, yeah, then for sure. the supporter site, we're going to do how uh, uh, some some videos of how we bring the horse on. Uh, so there's that. That's going to be going on. We've got a video we're going to put on on the Duke on the on the main the main site as well. How that went over the the condensed. I mean, on the supporter site, we've got eight videos on him. How we we got him broke broke to ride and safeish. And uh, and that uh, anything else, Tanya? Oh yes, and we go to we've got a ranch day this weekend. Sunday. Sunday, we've got uh, a couple of horses in the week to go to. Then we've got a clinic, clinic on the Saturday. The Saturday next Saturday, and then Monday we're off to Turkey. So that'll be a break for a week. We we're really looking forward to that. But I will be doing a blog. We had a big response. When we asked the question, does anyone want to see my a blog of me going on a ride at the riding centre in Turkey, where they they go for a couple of hour ride, and I've seen them go before, but I've never rode and there. You're gonna hire a motorbike, you said. Uh, yeah, get a bike and um, <laughs> go to some old sites. So yeah, I'm gonna do a blog on that. It, people want to see that. So uh, I think that that's about is isn't it? Yeah. It is. Um, like we always so, say, guys. If you think this is going to help somebody please like and share we love it when you yeah, do that yeah yeah do that for, for us that'd be great and i think that's about it so yeah i hope you enjoy this video and uh see you soon and happy trails cheers guys